Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Auto Tutorials by Level Nation Studios. My name is Lydia and in this video I'm going to show you how you can light your meshes in your scene separately from the environment which is the world in Blender. I'll be using Blender 2.91 for this video. Let's get started. <music> So I'm going to use this character for this video first and as you can see he has this um, moody lighting on him. So what I want to do now is I want to add a little bit of, I want to make the background a little bit darker. So how do I edit the word, uh, the background? I'll just come to objects, change it to, which is under the shader editor. So this shader editor, make sure I'm in shader editor, change the object. The object is meant for the materials of anything you're seeing so by default is on object so switch it from object to word then you are going to see the um the color this background color is responsible for the color of the background so if i change this to let's say blue or whatever i change it to it affects both the background and the lighting on the character for instance if i take this up you see it's also affecting the character's face and that so what i want to do now is i want to separate the one from the background then the one for the character space so i'm going to shift d to duplicate this background shift d then i'm going to mix these two together so i wouldn't control shift right click to mix them if you've not seen the how to use shader editor tutorial you can check it out show you how you can use this shortcut is is the uh, the add-on responsible for this is the node wrangler so let me just undo delete this and do it manually so i just go to shift a shader mix shader so I just connect this here and connect this here or you can use the shortcut by activating the node wrangler add-on so this is what we have now if i edit this it's still affecting the two because this is like the blend of both the first color and the second color so to separate them i have to go to shift a you can also get it by coming down here to add then you go to input light parts so by clicking on light parts you see let me control space bar to expand this window so you just click um in camera Connect it to the fact so that way anytime I edit the background color it's just going to affect the background it's without affecting the character's face so I can edit this one independent of the background and I can edit the background independent of the foreground color so now I can connect my HDRI to this if I want I can connect whatever I want to each one so without affecting each other this way they are going to be separate from each other so that's the end of this video i hope you gain one or two things from this don't forget to like the video subscribe to level nation studios if you've not done so click on the notification bell to get notified every time we upload new videos like this and until next time stay true to your creativity bye bye